As you can see, just a little bit of work. My guy, uh, the Tracy Morgan, the last OG, just doing a little bit of my, you know, research, just taking a couple look at different comedians and everything. You know, just always know how to get better, even if it's good comedians, bad comedians. Um, I'm actually not in a correct work area right now. I'm in my fiance workspace, but um. <clears throat> uh hello everybody um so i'm funny looking yo and this is funny looking show oh not exactly you know but uh i'm still in the making but this is just a snippet of pretty much the like what's the comment like absolutely so much more what's your show gonna be about though um to be honest i want it to be real like not exactly like the show real <laughs> you shout out to them. me and my fiance we love that show might not have cable yet, so we missing it a little bit. But it's all good, and I'll say like, I don't even, excuse the squeaky chair, but I don't even know where it's going to take me. But like, I do know, like, I am trying to send a message. And, and and yeah, I'm just trying to send a message and just trying to inspire and like, bring it, put that into others. Excuse me. And like, um, yeah, I know I'm reading from a tablet. I got a lot to kind of go over. I'm gonna make it short for y'all, but I can't remember everything, so I'm going to kind of just give y'all that attention. Whatever, I'm going to keep it moving so y'all won't get bored with me. But, um, yeah, so, like, basically, like, I was just basically saying, like, I play a lot, you feel me? And I know that. And then, but I also, I do that, but I can be serious, too. A lot of people don't see the serious side, so that's why I kind of just play a lot. And then you can kind of catch their attention. And that's basically what, it, like, what I do best. And like, I turned that to basically saying I'm a comedian slash motivational speaker. I mean, like, or motivational speaker slash comedian, you feel me? However you look at it. Maybe I should just start saying motivational comedian. Ah, oh, snap. Yeah, I like that. You know what I mean? I think that's a little different. I've been trying to figure out exactly what it is that I am. And I'm so hard being a comedian. And, and, you know, a lot of people don't understand. Listen. All my front row motherfuckers, listen, y'all better last. So y'all better make sure y'all get y'all ass working right now because I will spit, kick on y'all motherfuckers. But look, this front row, I ain't even got to worry about y'all, especially you. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, like I said, yeah, yeah, just make it seem like it's so easy, especially with me and how I'm doing this. I want to talk to everybody. I want people, when they see me, if they come to see me and watch my show, you will know what you want to get. You will know if you want to get comedy, speaking, motivational speaking, you feel me, singing, dancing, I might hear some moves or something, you feel me? Look, don't act like y'all don't know my moves, shorty, you know, the Baltimore two-step, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Um, speaking of Baltimore, y'all ever heard of uh, Ghetto Vegas? Uh, that's what I just call Baltimore Street. Uh, but yeah, um, and like figure out basically exactly what it is and like honestly i even like switched it since writing this i'm gonna be honest like i said no fabricated nothing for what i do everything is real for as much as i try to be original as possible but anyway i'm not even motivational comedian no more i turned it to entertainer like i do just keep watching it you're gonna see i'm more than a comedian motivational entertainer i'm me get it anyway like i'm not trying to fit the mold out here like i'm not trying to be anybody else like you feel me I can look at a different variety of people and comedians and stuff like that and just in general, not even just comedians and judge and not judge. And, and why is that? It's because I can be like them at times at this show and I can also, you feel me, like be a whole bunch of more than just comedy. And I, like, I'm not saying like I can just automatically change the world and be revolutionary, you feel me? Hashtag a bit like the Ravens, you already know how we changed the game. 14 and 2. All right, we ain't gonna talk about that. It's not about the Ravens. But you know, like, and that's like what I'm saying. Like, my mind thinks as if it's like, okay, Steve Harvey or Ellen DeGeneres, or like I mentioned before with the real, the show, and everything, like, and even more, especially with Wild and Out and Mr. Nick Cannon. You feel me? And I, I actually sent him multiple messages at, on his Instagram, sent him emails, everything to the, his page, the uh, Incredible Game page, all that. Like, and like, I don't even think he got my email for even delivered. You feel me? Because it's just a celebrity. He probably getting a numerous amount of notifications and stuff like that. But basically, I'm just trying to get his attention. You feel me? And like, Kevin Hart, that's my number one right there. You feel me? And like, that's the number one inspiration. Where is though? Like, I just pay my best do my best to pay attention, like, especially laugh at my pain, to what now? It's the difference between who
There you go. Are we her eggs? Let's open this one. All right. It's ivory time. What you got? Your eggs? Yep, yeah, let's open it. Oh, we scaring Chelsea with the lion again? Uh oh. You got the corona? Whoa, 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 whoa now. <laughs> All right. We scared Chelsea with the lion. Let me in. Let me in. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Good. Come here. Come here. Let me in. No. I'm like, just when you think, what is next? And I mention those two because we're watching the guy tell the truth about his life. And I can relate to some of those things. And that's just how us comedians have to express and deal with things. We get on stage and we tell what we do. It's like, in reality, it's not as easy as it look. Trust me, to come up here and try to do what I do. No, seriously, I wait. Exactly, I'll be waiting forever. Anyway, um, it's like, I started this a long time ago, like about a year ago. So now since I'm re just now recording this, I would say I probably started in 2018. So it's about two years or so now ago. And, um, but yeah, and I, I realized like, it's truly just like I basically just brought my material to life. Like, not even my fiance has heard my jokes from the beginning. Like, hypothetically speaking, okay, when I'm right, saying this right now, like I said, no fabricated nothing. I'm not gonna stop because I'm gonna keep going. But hypothetically speaking, basically, this stuff was already like talked about before I thought I would thought I was gonna be recording this. So, yeah. All right, anyway, and like my name, my fiance is like heard my jokes throughout the years. My mom, sisters, nobody like why. And it's like I was building my craft inside, and all inside here, and there was no need to rush. There's still no need to rush. I got jokes I've been sitting on for two years now. There's no need to rush. And you're probably thinking like, well, what's what you waiting for? And this is my thing. Like everybody got their own path. No matter what you think, you can go ahead and look at all the social media stuff and everything, man. Everybody got their own path. And it's like, as I went on about my daily life and I watched and I studied and I like paid attention, you feel me, to my surroundings, honestly connected without saying many words. So we have Special K for the KLO Showcase. Uh, so just talk to us about KLO. Um, KLO is a brand that represents myself. Basically, I'm just letting women stand up for themselves, be able to express themselves. You don't have to just be sexy for a man, you can be sexy for yourself. So, whether it's in a bedroom or just stepping up with your girls, yeah. So, is that actually a piece that you're wearing right now? It is. It's a cheetah print bralette that I made. Three little lines on the side. All right. All right, so what you got for us today? You feel me? When I was saying many words, I basically believe. I have what it takes. And like, I'm gonna be honest, I really think I got I, think I got what it takes, you know? And like, so no matter what moment in the time that I decide to put my material out there, I truly feel, feel like, you feel me, I'm gonna be good. Like, no matter what it is, I'm good. And like, that's why I feel like it's about being patient. And shit, you feel me? Like, it's even better now because now I can turn good into great. And that's what a lot of people don't be realizing. So it's just like, Real quick, back to the Kevin Hart thing before I lose y'all with that. It's like, did you know he had a whole album? Like, bro, I really listened to his music. Like, he got a whole album. And it's like, I thought it was just a joke. My friend basically, he was like, it's like called Chocolate Drop or whatever. And it's like, nah, bro, no way I'm a Kevin Hart fan. And I didn't watch this man all this time. I heard about the Chocolate Drop thing, but I didn't think. Craziest thing about it is like, I didn't expect it to like, be as deep as it was. Like you, you get. Of course, you won't get the regular obnoxious Kevin Hart stuff. And you know, you got his ways. It's just Kevin Hart. That's who he is. But like some of the stuff, like really had good vibes with it. And like, I'm gonna be honest. I would recommend it to anybody. Like, you gotta, especially if you're in a relationship. It's a lot of songs, and it's just like kind of chills and like real, real vibey, you know. And I, I recommend it to anybody. And like, that's just sort of the approach that I'm basically just trying to take with this and everything. It's the approach that I'm trying to bring with it. You feel me? Like, and, it, and, it, and I always mention this, and I'm gonna keep mentioning it until I get some recognition. Video update, email update, not an email, but whatever, you know what I mean? I actually got my uh, conversation live with Lowe's. Y'all can check that out on YouTube, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish it out and just hear what I said before I even had that interview. 
uh, not an interview, but it was just a conversation. You check it out, YouTube, funny video. But anyway, um, I'm gonna say this is, is Becoming King by King Los from Baltimore. Represent big trust. I can't really do it with the pen in my hand. But yeah, it's just like Baltimore in the house, you know? You gotta represent. And it's actually like, while I got your attention, instead of hearing me talk about it all this time, let me give y'all a second and just play it real quick. Just, 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 just take a listen to what I'm actually talking. If I could do, if I could do one thing in this world, it would be to at least inspire one person. Because it's not about how bad you want something. How bad you want something is meaningless. It's pointless if how bad you're willing to work for the thing you want is ten times as intense as how bad you want it. So basically, that's just like the message that I'm just trying to get off. And I'm just trying to send it in a different way. And I hope I ain't talk everybody at all too long. I appreciate it if you hear this long. And I'm sorry if I did bore you. But I don't think I did enough to bore y'all. I think what y'all had, y'all is all entertained, right? <laughs> right? It, yeah? N no? Uh, okay. Fuck y'all. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm not pissed still trying to drag it off. But um, if you lasted this long... Then the real part haven't even started yet, and that's truth. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just show y'all at the end of what's more to come, and I'm still not done with my segment. So even what y'all see now that I'm about to play right at the second, like as soon as I stop talking. So like I'm gonna just go ahead and say that it's a lot more to come. Funny looking yo, in the flesh. I haven't even got started yet. I'm here. Thank you for watching me for a year. Now just get ready for 2020. Shit, I don't even even know what to expect. But I know, I keep telling you I ain't even start yet. And, and I, I'm still on the tablet. I'm still trying to write and build my craft, you know? All right, I'm out. All right, give me my money.